What's going on everybody? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Gran Turismo 2. This is episode 101. I never thought I'd hear myself saying that, but it's happening and it's awesome. So, hold on a second. What were we even doing last time? It's been like a week since I've... Oh, okay. I remember now. Okay, we're doing... We're doing the old uh, Toyota Alteza race. Which is still weird. I don't like saying that because it's definitely a Lexus, but it's not. One of these things is not like the other one. Okay, here we go. Definitely just got back from Hometown Buffet a little while ago, and I took a pretty explosive shit, and it was not good for anybody. And one of my farts, like, squeaked. It was like a mouse. Like somebody hit a mouse inside of my keister. It happened. And I stand by it. It made me feel a lot better outside of the fact that I had this, uh... It was like a shrimp and it was like this uh, shrimp burrito from uh, Baja Fresh, and it had jalapenos in it, and that hurt like the burning of a thousand suns. So that was not a very wise choice in my life. Meanwhile, this this race again, we have we avoided this thing a lot going through most of this game, and now it's like popping up everywhere like a bunch of pimples. I'm not digging that. Huh? It is. By the way, uh, by the way, uh, yes, pimples on the teenage face of life. Even though I'm pretty sure the world is not in its teenage years anymore. <laughs> I'm getting deep right now. By the way, I got Maddie. Uh, Maddie three is here. Okay, he's not here. <laughs> he was here, and then he said he wasn't here. So, via the transitive property, he is not here. Jumanji Popsicles, yes. Did you send me another... No, you didn't. I didn't read it all the way. That's what it was. Oh, I totally did. Uh... Well, you did? Hold on. I'm pretty sure I sent you two. Hold on. Oh, no, I did Oh, I didn't send it! <laughs> you sent me, when I was in the bathroom, you sent me Jesse Robles' horchata-flavored <laughs> road maps! <laughs> Just some rice milk flavored road maps with cinnamon. Yeah, I have one written up. I didn't send it. You got the one I sent you, right? Oh yeah. I sent him uh, Dean. We we have this game, by the way, and just so because none of you guys would be like, what the fuck is he talking about with Jesse Robles and his horchata flavored road maps? So what our game is, we take the name of a person. It could be whoever the hell you want it to be, and then we. Uh, and then you take this like random whatever. And you try to make like an object or a business or any sort of thing involving that person just to make it sound awkward or funny. And uh, it ends up being hilarious. And so I sent him uh, Dean Kane's vomiting blackjack dealer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a good time to spin out in the old German grass there. That is bad news. I really would rather not do this race. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> And I'm driving. This is not good. Reading text while you're driving is bad, ladies and gentlemen. But the cops aren't following me because I'm in my own home. Stuart Little's spinal tapping donut cake! <laughs> <laughs> it's a spinal tapping donut bank! For rats! Oh boy. That's dis oh. That is wholly disgusting. Oh. I am so going to lose this race right now. Thank you, Matt. You fucked it over for me. Gosh, this car has terrible handling. I'm just going to quit. <laughs> Not going to do me any good by, you know, finishing that thing out. He also sent me earlier, by the way, since we're on the topic. Oh, no, he's... Uh, Never mind, that's not him. He sent me... Let's get back into this race again. We can definitely win that. I just need to not do that. He sent me... Uh, <laughs> what the hell did he send me? <laughs> not the, the pediatric sham wow. <laughs> Grant Snipker's Red Bull-infused blood cell replicator. <laughs> He's... You guys are gonna look up who Grant Snitker is. You're not gonna know who that is. It's a guy we went to. It's a guy we went to high school with. 
and uh, he was one of the most awkward people. Or uh, David Letterman's pornographic pothole drill. Uh, and so I sent I sent him in response. I sent him uh, I sent him Steve Austin or yeah Steve Austin's um, garbage glazed sourdough. So do we we've, we've had we've the the best thing about this game, whether you think it's funny or not, is. The, uh, is the is like the places that we decide to play this at like like se like 75 percent of the time we're usually playing it like while I'm at work or what like while whether he or I are at work or when we're out like getting something to eat at a restaurant and so it becomes like super awkward because we'll end up we'll like we'll be hysterically laughing in our booth and uh, the people like either in front of us or next to us or whatever they just like they won't understand like why we're laughing so hard and so they're just they just they all look at us like we're completely insane which we are but it becomes so much weirder because nobody knows why we're laughing like there's no observational humor going on where like people can tell why we're laughing it's just happening and so it's just <laughs> that's the best part about it like I said one uh, I said one to him the other day when we were out getting some Chinese food and uh, they were like there were people in every booth, like in front, behind, and next to us, and whatever. And I sent him what the hell did I send him? It was it was super bad too. It was uh, it was Herbert Hoover's funeral home in miniature golf, and it caught him by surprise so bad. And so we were both like on the verge of like in tears, laughing over this. And the, these two like you know Mexican cholo girls that were sitting in front of us, they totally. Uh, is this really loud, or is it just me? I think it... Oh, it was really loud. Good lord. Okay, now we're good. I don't think it's going to make any difference, because I think that my voice will probably scale with that, but I'm not sure. I guess we're going to find out one way or the other. Those guys have the same paint jobs, you faggots. And don't even start with me. I am entitled to say as I please. I'm not trying to offend anybody. If you... You honestly get offended over the usage of the word faggot, which is also used to, uh... Whoa! I got inside of his trunk. <laughs> I got all up inside of his trunk. <laughs> That's really gay. Uh... If you get offended by a word, then that's your own problem. I don't get offended by people calling me names. Even though I'm not directly calling anybody names, I'm using that in reference to a guy having the same colored paint as someone else. So, if I can get over it, you know. Sometimes you put the meatloaf in the sink, and then you move on with your life. Okay, let's try to not spin out today. That's that's where the big problems have come in, is this car just not having the uh, the proper... Well, it's probably also because I didn't buy better tires. I haven't really... There's only like three cars in this entire playthrough that I've done involving the usage of buying better tires for it. And I'm also trying to remember what stage it was in, uh, and I know I've already said this before, but it's still bothering me, what stage it was in uh, Top Gear for Super Nintendo that this level looked exactly like, like the track design-wise. Not like actually looking like it in the game, because the graphics for this are way superior, but it has like almost the same look to it, and it's really pissing me off. I want to say that it was, um, I want to say it was the very first race when you go to Germany, I think it was. There's a, I think it's, I think it's Munich, Germany. Somebody like do like a fact check for me on that or something. Like, I mean, I'll probably end up having to do it myself, and I'll tell you about it later. Oh no, oh no, no! That's the finish line's right there. Son of a bitch! Two full races of not being able to win. Or, oh, if it was like right at the end of the street, we would have had it. Oh, and I almost had it. Man, we are just not having a good go at this. See, why are these guys getting a hold of Lexuses? I probably could have just gone in and, you know, bought a Lexus out of... I think it was probably would have been one up in North City, I'll bet, but I'm not dragging my ass all the way up there. I'm just going to go with what I've got. <sighs> I mean, yeah, it's just not going over so hot. What the hell is I even talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. I'm pretty sure that... Um, that model for that track was from that. 
minus like the little part on the very bottom there like it wasn't that long but other than that they're pretty much identical here we go yeah Rome short this ought to do it for us this ought to this ought to be the one right here if it's not then we're gonna have a giant waste of an episode because I've already wasted 10 minutes of your time talking about things that you probably didn't really care about but I cared about it and that's what really matters so oh boy Dude, okay, first of all, why is it that they're having us, like, every time I've done one of these manufacturer races on Rome Short so far, they've had us do the, the track backwards. Like, am I the only one that's noticed that so far? Like, they're not having us do it the way that we normally do it, and it's really weird. It's almost bothersome to an extent. However, we're getting it done, it's fine. This is something that I can at least say that two... Some level or, or another, I, I excel at this track now that I've kind of got a lot of the uh, the curses that had me going there for quite a while out of the way. I haven't really had a lot of... Oh, man, I'm, I'm at that really weird spot where you're still, like, really, really full even though you've, you know, you've been not eating for, like, over an hour and a half or two and you've already, you know, pooped out half of it, but... You just, like, you still feel like you just went, you just ate, and you're so full. I mean, I, whenever I go to buffets, let's just be honest with ourselves here, whenever I go to a buffet, I always carbo-load so bad. Like, everything that I eat, I always get, like, the same set of things when I go to Hometown Buffet. It's always the macaroni and cheese, because it is literally made by gods. I'm pretty sure that Ra, the sun god, definitely made that macaroni and cheese. Especially because my plate was, like, six million degrees... I hate that. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when you go to a place like that is, I mean, I love having a freshly clean plate, but I hate when I can't hold the damn thing. Like, I'm sitting there, like, holding on to the plate, and I almost dropped it on the floor because it was, like, scalding my skin. But I digress. So, I got, um, oh, are we, are we already done? We're already done. All right, well, there we have it. We finally won! All right. So, yeah, I got the uh, the mac and cheese, and I got the, the uh, mashed potatoes, and I got the brown grave, and I got, like, some meatloaf. Mom, the meatloaf! Fuck! So we got that, and then um, I got, like, this uh, this roast beef. The roast beef wasn't very good, though. Like, there wasn't a lot of flavor in it, and there was no, like, au jus sauce to go with it, so I was just kind of bummed out, but I did it anyways. And then I went and got some ham afterwards, but I did two plates full of that. And then I also got, like, some cornbread stuffing. And then after that, I went for the dessert plate. And I got, let's see, I got some bread pudding. And I got some, like, some lava cake. And, like, a rice crispy treat. And I think I got, like, a chocolate chip cookie or something. And it was, it was outstanding by every stretch of the imagination. So can I use this, can I use this Alteza in, like, a Lexus cup? Is Lexus even in here? It's not. So hold on a minute. Or would it be over here? It would be nowhere. So how the hell are these people getting Lexus cars when you can't even... There's no Lexus vendor in here. Like, where are they getting them from? There's there's none. What the hell's an Aristo? Huh, whatever. It's weird. It's weird. The whole thing is weird. I also got... The thing I love about buffets is, like, the drink cups they get you. Even though they make you pay for them. Like, usually a buffet, they just give that to you. But, oh, no. Not at this joint. Hell no. They make you pay for it. A bunch of jackasses. They make you pay for it. And so I got cherry coke and I got root beer. And they're these little t tiny glasses. They're probably like, I don't, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like six ounces. But it's like the perfect size. It really is. Okay, let's see. What can we do now? The S4 race, huh? Have we? I thought we already did this. Or, oh no, we didn't. No, the S4 is what we used for that godforsaken, that one cup race that we were doing a long time ago, and I had to do the fucking thing, like, 30 times. The, oh, the TT Challenge, that's the only thing we can do with it, huh? Alright, well, I guess we can sell that bad boy, then. It has no purpose being in my garage anymore. Um, let's see. The Angel T01. Is there even anything I can do with that? That's like, Tom's is Nissan, isn't it? Tom's, I don't know what it is. I think that's Nissan. No. No, because Nissan is Nismo. What the fuck is Tom's? That's Toyota, I think. Toyota is Tom's. I'm not going to deal with that right now, though. I just realized I've been going for 15 minutes here. 
Well, man, I feel bad, because I didn't really get a lot done. We got one race completed over the course of that, but, you know, that's, that's, it's happened before. I mean, it's not like this is the first time that's ever happened. Mirage Cup and the Evo meeting. We did both of those already, so Mitsubishi's off the list, finally. Um, I'm not, I, think, I think we'll take a trip over to West City. We haven't really done anything out of that, so I think what we'll do next time... Wow, that was really weird. We had some serious lag motion going on there. I think when we come back next time, what we're going to do, we're either going to do something in West City, or we're going to take a trip up to North City, and we're going to do something in there. I think we might do that Audi TT challenge just to get that, that vendor out of the way in general. So, this has been your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for stopping by and watching this evening, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.